Welcome back, everybody, to the Outer Worlds. I am an old guy gaming, and we are going to continue our adventure here in Edgewater. And uh, we, j we just uh, went back to the ship, did our, a quick save, and uh, now we're going to talk to Zoe and see if we can talk her into coming back to the uh, Botanical Gardens. Here we go. <clears throat> what I wouldn't do for a Wentzworth. A Wentzworth. What the hell's a Wentzworth? Um, I've been sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. Um, Stefan told me about your favorite cereal. So you tracked me down just to gab about the mass market here? Uh, sure. I am impressed. That's exactly why I tracked you down. I've got it here. Yours, if you promise to go back. Um, yeah, I mean, that's what we're here for. You actually have it? I do. The episode where Lord Cavendish reveals he's been the mass marketeer all along? All right, you convinced me. Boy, lady, you watch way too much I'll TV. Take my stuff and head on back, <laughs> I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me, so I've got that to look forward to. Yeah, well, she'll probably get over it eventually. She's kind of rude, though, anyway, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Okay, good. So we finished that, and uh, Zoe's going to go back. Okay, now, we have to go to the geothermal facility and we have to hello Maru um no no this is a single player game uh Pix will play with me on on uh, Monday night we'll do some more seven days a day um welcome back though I hope, I hope your Hawaiian barbecue is delicious okay so well, let's see we have to um we're gonna go to the geothermal facility and we have two things we got to do there we've got to decide who we're going to divert power to and we have to, um, and we have to what? Oh, we have to do the robot quest. We got to kill a bunch of robots for, for Ludwig. Because Ludwig's a little, little crazy, but he's kind of funny too. Um, oh, do we have to go back here first? I guess we have to go talk to Grace first to actually finish that quest. So let's do that so we get the XP and all that kind of good stuff. What is it? Man, you're rude. I talked Zoe into coming back, so just relax. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? She joined up with a band of marauders. They hadn't hurt her. Something about wanting to be an outlaw. I'd rather not get into it. Yeah. <laughs> you pretty that. much did my job for me. Least I could do sure, you can pay, pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. Well, you can start by being a little... A little more polite. How's that? Not that I really care. Ooh, can I have your gun? Oh, she put it away. It looked like it had like a really nice scope on it. Deserter's reputation increased. All right, let's uh, let's look at that for a second. Character reputation. Deserters. Positive reputation with deserters. And we are actually revering with Spacer's Choice. Look at that. Uh, that's probably going to change, though, because these are opposing factions at the moment. All right, guys, it is time for us to go to the geothermal factory, kill a bunch of auto mechanicals for Ludwig, and decide who we're going to divert power to. I got to be honest with you, I'm uh, I'm leaning towards I'm leaning towards the botanical gardens. Um, reason being is because first of all. Um, Thompson is a jerk. He just is. And he's got that whole town, you know, running under his corporate iron fist. The town is in really bad shape. People are, oh shit. People are getting sick there. And they won't just give medicine to anybody. They'll only give it to people who they think are going to survive, which is bullshit. Orthus. That's a named bad guy. Hmm. We probably shouldn't kill him because there's probably a quest to kill him somewhere around. So let's leave him be for now. Plus, he might kick our ass anyways. Oh, look at that. There's a bunch of, um... Busted up mechs over here. Man, that guy's 
enormous a joint actuator that's probably junk okay you know what let's do something here let's uh let's get our stealthy stealth armor on i don't want to yeah i don't want those guys detecting me here <gasps> what's that oh just a light assault rifle okay Okay, we'll grab all that stuff. Oh, this is scary. Doesn't have anything. Okay. Back away slowly. <laughs> Alright, I think we're okay over here. Alright, so anyways, what were we talking about? We've got to... Um, yeah, I mean, the town of Edgewater is is just in really rough shape. Okay, um, nobody's happy there. the 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 factory's not even making salt tuna. It's basically chopping up like these rodent things and putting them in the can and selling as salt tuna. Thompson's an asshole, um, and uh, they're just not. You know, they treat people. I mean, you have to pay for your freaking gravesite when you die. You have to rent your gravesite. That's how bullshit it is. Whereas these guys over here at the botanical labs are growing natural food. They're, they've been able to heal people. And they're obviously, you know, welcoming to anybody that wants to desert the town and go, you know, live with them. So based upon all that information, since I'm supposed to do what my conscience tells me to do, I think that's probably what we're going to go with. Now, if I had Parvati here with me, she probably would try and talk me out of it because she's from the town. But you know what? Parvati's dead, unfortunately. And so she's not here to help guide our decision. So that's where we're going to go with. Didn't I just see a robot over there? Where did he go? Oh, they're moving around. Okay. So the task at hand, ladies and gentlemen, is that we have to... Let's put this back on. We have to do two things. We've got to... Uh, retrieve a logic module from this geothermal plant for Ludwig Miller, who's crazy, but we like him anyway. And we have to... Um, we already did this. That's weird. Um, and we have to divert the power uh, from the geothermal plant. And I think we're going to divert it to the botanical gardens after thinking things over okay so how do we get into this place first of all and should we try and snipe some of these guys from afar before we actually get in there we want to try and hit them right in the the blue thing just like that okay so they can't really apparently they can't really do anything to us while we're here Uh, scratch that. I guess they can shoot at us. Can't really get to his blue thingy from here, though. So I think our safest bet is going to be to try and snipe as much as we can from here. Sweet. Okay, takes a few more shots when we can't hit him in there, the blue, the blue square shiny thingy, but, or whatever, whatever Ludwig called that thing. The other thing is, is do we shoot this to stop that electrical field? Because I don't think we want to walk through that. Something tells me that would not be good for our health. Unless there's another way in, like maybe jumping over there. I bet you that's what we're supposed to do. Um, do these explode? Oh, they do. Okay, so they probably have some kind of a EMP pulse that disables or hurts the robots, would be my guess. Okay, here we go. Here's a guy right here. Uh, he's almost dead, so let's just finish him off. Okay. Okay. 
Any more movement before we leave this wonderful sniping perch here that we found? Not seeing anything. Mariski, every time I look at your name, I think Hawaiian barbecue, and my mouth starts watering. Okay, there's the blue thing. Haha! <laughs> Suck it, robot! Alright, well, I think it's time for us to move down, and it looks to me like we can get in there from right there. That's not a very effective fence, I'm just saying. Uh, and actually right there, too, probably, unless there's a gap there that we're not seeing. Let's go look at that first. We're going to switch back to our assault rifle. Oh, yeah, there is a gap here. Okay. Hmm, I wonder what that means. There's a dead guy in there. Oh. We could have gone through right through here. Energy cell, pneumatic pest, and armor parts. Goodness gracious, look at all that loot. Let's go around here. We'll just make sure the entire yard is clear first before we go inside. Sawed-off shotgun. Okay. More parts for us to break down later. Some dead cannons. Nothing in that mech. I think we we got them all outside, maybe. Watch me get jumped now. Is there something up here? Can't quite get up there. Man, look at all these dead people. I think the mechs uh, must have revolted. Mr. Ouch! Awesome, we need a Mr. Ouch. Everybody needs a Mr. Ouch. Vending machine, yay! Let's sell some stuff. Um... Uh... This sells for 75 coin. That's pretty good. Bolter pistol. Wait, where did that come from? Is that like a plasma weapon? It is a plasma weapon. Oh, we're gonna have to check that out. Okay, so uh, let's sell. Oh, wow, that's an, a pristine assault rifle, though. No wonder it's worth so much money. We better not sell that. We better hang on to that. But we can sell the sawed-off shotgun, so let's sell that. Um, we'll sell one of these. Uh, we should also break some stuff down, though, too. So let's break those two down. That's a pristine assault rifle, though. We should probably switch to that and mod it up when we get back to our ship. Okay. Uh, we got one, two, three low-pressure helmets. We don't need all three. Let's sell... Uh, this one, and I think what we might end up doing with this one, that's 13, wait, 
Why is this one so much more valuable? Uh, that's only worth 3.8. That's worth 7.5. They're both the same level. I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me. Hmm. All right, well, let's sell this, and we'll probably break that extra one down. Uh, let's sell all of our junk. Okay. We got 37 weapon parts and 19 armor parts. I'm, I don't understand why this one's more money, though. Oh, because it's a pristine. That's why. <sighs> okay. All right. Well, let's break this one down, then. And let's repair this one. That gives us a melee skill. Okay, and then for here, I want to actually try this uh, plasma weapon out. This is cool. So let's throw that in our melee slot. And let's break down this pistol here. That's just a cheapy. And this is just a cheapy light assault rifle. Okay. Now, I think... Oh, okay. Some of these plasma weapons you can charge up, but apparently this one you can't. That is really cool looking, though. Um, what kind of damage does this do? 110 DPS. That's not bad. That's not bad. For a handgun, anyway. Okay, well, I'll think about that. I'm going to keep this uh, in our melee slot for now, though. Because it's effective against the robots with the shock power on it. Okay, he doesn't have anything. Okay, we'll take all of that stuff. Let's close the door. We got a terminal to hack. Let's see what this has to say. Okay. Uh, power plant security terminal. Please select command. Disarm security fences. Okay, that's that took care of that. Uh, view recent logs. Uh, error. Security logs are inaccessible in keeping with space of choice. Com company policy. All security logs have been terminated in the event of a major emergency, catastrophic event, event, event or security breach. Attention, scheduled security updates at the Spacious Choice facility are critically overdue. Your last scheduled security update occurred on error date not found. If you are a member of the Spacious Choice security detail signed to this location, please turn in your identification for immediate reprimand. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Failure, failure, failure to do so may result in immediate reprimand. <laughs> okay, right. Okay, so we got the fences turned off. Not that that mattered a whole lot, but we got them turned off. Ooh, look at all that stuff. Shiny servo and flywheels. That's exactly what I wanted for Christmas. That's good stuff, Maru. He doesn't have anything. Oh, shit! We need to try and hit him in his shiny blue thing. All right, that worked. Love the shotgun. Have I mentioned that yet? Okay, I think we've cleared the yard. Near as I can tell. So let's go on inside. So we're looking for... Some kind of energy matrix thingamadoodle for Ludwig. And we have to diver divert power. Elite troop armor. What's that all about? So that's the same armor as our heavy power armor. This has plus five dodge, but minus five stealth skill. But this has the Nightingale mod installed on it. Let's just see what it looks like. Ooh, baby. 
I like that stuff. We could install Nightingale on here and then it would be just as good as this stuff is here. But let's keep this for now because that has Nightingale, this doesn't. I, I have to remember that I have that lock picking helmet too the next time we can't uh, pick a lock. Okay, let's go back to... Did we check this guy? Nope. Let's go back here and just sell the junk at least. That's a lot worth a lot of money, the servo is. Uh, let's sell this too. I think we're good. Alright, let's head on inside. I wonder if we should uh, do another cheese save first. Before we do this. Yeah, let's do it. You just never know. I don't want to lose all that progress. We could stand to sleep and drink a little bit too, but if we do that, then we have to run all the way back over there. That's probably not a bad idea though. It's not that far. That way we're like in tip-top condition. And you know what? While we're here, Let's look at a couple of mod options too. So I want this pristine. This is a level five, that's a level eight. So we would have to tinker this up three levels, first of all. Do we have enough bank to do that? Okay, so now they're the same level. Can I make it, see that's level eight. Can we make it one level higher? Yes, we can. Okay, cool. Now, can we modify it? Install mod. There's no mod for it, so if we if we use it as is, it's just going to be raw physical damage, which still isn't bad. What about this guy? Can we modify this guy? Uh, we could put the fun times critical damage barrel on it. See, I haven't decided, though, if, if I want to actually keep this weapon. Why can't we put the Fun Times barrel on here? Oh, because it doesn't let us do a barrel. It just lets us do a scope or a magazine mod. I see. This does 20 damage. Oh, but times three. I got you. Okay, so it's like a. it's almost like a little shotgun like a handheld shotgun the small lightweight pistol will make you feel like a big shot who can fire a big shot hmm all right let let's just wait on that let's wait on that I haven't decided yet armor I was gonna see if I had a nightingale mod for this uh no, that's just a silver tongue. I don't want to put that on there. Okay, let's sleep. We'll just do the minimum amount of time so we don't lose as much hydration and food. And then we'll go here and we will chow down on something. What do we want to eat? How about some bread? We'll eat bread and we'll eat some fish sticks. And then for hydration, we'll take two things of water and we should be good to go. Yep, looking good. Let's do a save right here. All right. Now, we have to run back there, but like I said, I think it was worth it to to get our stats back up to, to hole before we go in here. I don't know how hard this fight's going to be. I, I think we'll probably be okay because... I think most people that would play this game would have already done this by now. I kind of held off and did all the side... Oh, uh, shit. Side quest first. Yowzers. Let's try out this, um... Let's try out this plasma pistol. Uh, it needs to be repaired, though. How 
many ombres do we have here? All right, let's uh, let's snipe this one. And then we'll see how the plasma gun does on this guy. Someone hiding. Come out and die. Come out and die. Get them! Bring it, man. Bring it. Oh, it's like a three-round burst. Okay, that's not so bad. Fried his ass, didn't we? See, I, th I thought it was more like a shotgun blast kind of thing. I didn't know it was like a, a three-round burst. That's kind of cool, though, actually. All right, do we got more hostiles up through here? Sounds like I hear something. That little pass there has the... Or can have the primate things. Those guys are nasty. Oh, I got a little cannon here. Why is he there by himself without anybody else, though? Oh, there are other people. Okay. Say goodnight, Gracie. Did we get him? Yep. Hmm, okay. I haven't decided if I like this weapon or not. It's kind of cool. It's got a really cool effects to it. I think I like it, but I'm not sure. So let's just keep using it and see how things go. Is that it? I think so. Oh man, look at all those trip lights. Oh, you know what? I put that stuff in there myself earlier because I got encumbered like I am again now. <laughs> Shit. Well, let's just walk. And uh, because we got that vending machine. Well, no, actually, you know what we'll do? Oh my goodness. Let's just break all this down. That'll give us a whole bunch of parts because the parts don't weigh anything. And these, well, they sell for 14, but you know, I'd rather have the inventory space. This one will sell. Okay, I want to make sure those gorilla things aren't up here. Yep, they are there. See, look at them right there. Primal behemoth. Let's see if we can bypass them. I don't want to fight those guys right now. Okay. We're getting close to being ready for the next level. So let's sell that. And we were going to sell this too. Yeah, I don't want to sell the pristine. Yeah, see, the alcohol gives you personality attributes, but I'm, I've already spec'd high into that anyway, so it doesn't really make sense for me to hang on to that. Uh, I don't want the spacer's chaw either. Or the cigarettes. The nicotine gives you a, a buff and then a debuff afterwards, so... 
Uh, all right. So we got some mods. Fun time, spread out, speed grip. I want to hang on to all these. Silver tongue, though. Hmm. I don't know. We really need that. Dialogue skills. <sighs> nah, I don't think we do. Because like I said, we're kind of already specced into the persuasions tree and all that kind of stuff anyway. I wanted to see, do you have any beverage to buy? Yes. Yeah, let's buy all of your water. Do you got the hydration pills? Yep, we're going to buy all of those. Good. I've had a hard time looting uh, stuff to drink in the game. Food's all over the place, but it seems like the, you know, the water and the hydration pills are kind of scarce. And we have to eat and drink in supernova mode, of course. All right, let's go in. Check this out. Here we go. From the planet to your living room. Edgewater Geothermal Plant. Oh, there's another vending machine right there. How funny is that? Another flywheel. Okay. I don't think plasma does a whole lot of damage to robots. Um, so we're going to put this uh, impact hammer back on. And see if we can get some sneaky sneak shots off on him. All right, we're going to have to go through a different door to get in there. Let's switch to our stealth armor, which is this stuff. And let's one-handed, yeah. Let's try that for our one-handed. Because it'll give us a little bit of a boost on that. Oh, there's a combat drone right there. Hey, let's look at something else real quick. Why do we have bread in there? This gives us melee weapon attack speed by 20%. Uh, what's this do? Harmful status effect duration minus 50%. Yeah, let's pop that up there. Oh, come back! I was just getting ready to cheese you. <laughs> Wasted him. Okay. Let's go back out here first and check out this main room before we start doing the side rooms. Looks like he's the only one around at the moment. Say goodnight, Gracie. What is up here? More fat loots. Oh, we got a plasma rifle. Hot damn. Okay, um... We're probably not going to do a lot of sniping in here. So this thing, you can actually charge up. Hold the attack button to build up energy and then release. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we got to try this thing out. Like I said, probably not going to do a lot of damage against mechs, but against people, it's going to kick ass and take names. 